is there a way to see what DM is doing as uniquely Vietnamese? I mean, what is what is what are the what is the reason that the Buddhist monk sits down in protest and burns himself in a Vietnamese market? What what is he protesting by doing that? What are what are what? No, I mean, I mean, what is he actually protesting? He's he's actually sitting down. And he's he's protesting something very specific. Oh, that was the DM like raided all these Buddhist monasteries and uh, like trashed them and arrested all these monks and a bunch of stuff. Okay, so what do you think he's attempting to do by doing that? It, and and thinking thinking in terms of Fitzgerald's argument, what do you think she would say he was attempting to do, or why was he doing it that way? Why go about it in that way? Yes, Ian. Well, I think monks had a lot of value in, in the culture just as contemplators of Tao. And so I think that maybe he was trying to use himself as a demonstration of the deterioration of the Tao by, um, by removing, removing those centers of thought. So maybe he was saying, you know, I represent the center of thought. That, you, know, I, you know, someone would have studied under me and come to find the things that I have found. And um, here I am deteriorating. Can I deal? All right. Any other thoughts? We keep coming back to what are you trying to, you know, if he, if, if DM understands that you have to win the allegiance of the people, that you have to convince them that your way is the right way, that there can be only one way, well, then religiously, what must you do? You have, to, you have to prove that yours is the right way, don't you? There's no separation, Fitzgerald says, between religion and state, right? Between politics and religion and state, that it all comes together in a unity of sorts. So if that's the case, then from Fitzgerald's argument, her perspective, what DM does in repressing Buddhism despite the fact that it represents the majority of his people is actually attempting to bring that unity. 